Hey, what's going on, you wonderful weirdos? I'm Pocan Joe, and as always, you're pretty cool for swinging by. So I was able to do a little bit of hunting today, mostly back issue stuff. Have a couple of new issues that I missed out on. Um, and again, these are just more of those off-brand comics that you don't hear a whole lot about, like uh, Hidden Society. I'm really enjoying this storyline. Um, I always love the conspiracy stuff. It, it makes me laugh. This one's dealing with Area 51 and aliens. So this is, um, it's, it's funnier than the last one where it was dealing with like the Illuminati and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I finally got my copy of Folklore's number five. Um, still, good stories, even though they're independent. They're, they really engage you. Um, other than that, I've just been doing some back issue diving. Um, not much out there. Unfortunately, I'm still working during the day because I'm essential. No, seriously, with all the um, emergency economic disaster loan programs and the payroll protection programs for businesses, uh, it's been kind of doubled down in my office here lately. So I'm kind of doubling down on that stuff. So yeah, it is what it is. Whatever we can do to help the economy. As it goes through its trying times. Awkward sip of coffee time. We haven't done that in a while. Ah, oh, it's the nectar of the gods. All right. So some back issues that I picked up this week. Um, so uh, first off, I picked up um, Son of Satan, uh, number two. This is the first appearance and origin. Well, it's not the first appearance, but it is the origin of the processor. I thought this was kind of cool. There's been a lot of talk about Son of Satan being in one of the new movies or shows coming up possibly um oh what is his name dr strange maybe right so i mean it's an issue number two it's not the first issue of course that's out of the dollar mid box right because that's hard enough to find so yeah i got that um i got fantastic four number 244 this is the first appearance of frankie ray the second nova who later becomes a herald of Galactus. This is a pretty popular book. Um, it's definitely an interesting story. If you've never read it, I highly suggest it. The whole um, Nova becoming a herald of Galactus is a very... It's just, I always like those stories where Galactus is picking a herald because they just endow him with so much power. It's just ridiculous. Um, probably the find of the week, and I was surprised, super surprised find, especially in the condition that it's in. Not that it's a little bit of a dog tail down there at the bottom. I can press that out. That's easy enough. But this is Thor Annual number six. Um, this is the first. Of, oh, this has a couple of. It has two first appearances and an origin. Uh, the Archonuns, Archians, Archians. The Archians are first <laughs> are in here. Uh, Brawl is in here as well, and it's the origin of Korvac. So that was kind of a cool find. Um, again, scattered throughout the storyline of Thor, these become regular. Uh, engaged characters, if you will. Um, I picked this up, and I'm not sure how I feel about it, because I saw it, and I was like, first off, very rarely do I get a number one out of a dollar bin, but I was able to find two, and in decent condition. This is Planet Terry. I vaguely remember this comic book being on a spinner rack inside of a teeny giant or 7-Eleven. I don't know which one it was. I, I know I was getting something that was frozen and with a lot of sugar in it, and... I vaguely remember this series, so I figured I'd pick it up. Not a whole lot of information out there on it. It's probably a junk book, but regardless, nostalgia makes you buy things. And when it's a dollar, seriously, what's a dollar? All right. Uh, a lot of G.I. Joe stuff here lately. I don't know if you've noticed that in my hauls, but I was able to pick up G.I. Joe number uh, 49. This is the first appearance of Serpentor. You remember Serpentor in the G.I. Joe movie? Well, this is his first appearance, so that was super cool to get that. I'm, like, excited. Um, all right, so this is a weird one. I wasn't sure if I was going to pick this one up, but, I, again, a dollar, and I'm trying to do what I can to help uh, comic books uh, or comic shops stay open. Not that it's much, to be honest, because there just isn't much for me to buy. Um, I, I went ahead and picked up Eternals. This is Volume 2. This is the first appearance of Thanos. And uh, I'm going to mess this up. Karamax? Karga? Karagamax? I know how to spell it, but pronouncing it's weird. So, I know these are all over the place in there, but with the new movie coming out and everything, I'm not sure. You know, uh, like, we kind of know what they're doing to the movie with a lot of uh, the swapping of genders and races, which I don't care about as long as everybody's cool and they do cool stuff in it. I'm totally happy with that. But who knows who may pop up in it. So I went ahead and picked this up just as kind of like my, my, we'll call it a loose spec book. 
Um, again, another one I was surprised to see in there was Star Wars number 43. This is the first appearance of Lando Carizian, you know, Han Solo's buddy slash frenemy. Yeah. So first appearance, went ahead and picked that up. Uh, another one, I don't pick this up a whole lot, and I may actually read this, because I, I vaguely remember trying to read Excalibur back in the day, and it just didn't interest me uh, back when I was a child. But now that I'm a little older, I don't know, maybe I'll get it. Like, I don't know, we'll find out. So definitely, and this is also the first appearance of Widget is in here as well. Uh, let's see here, Avengers, number 292, first appearance of Leviathan. Uh, in here. Not a huge, huge spec book, but I like first appearances and stuff like that. I, I try to keep my long boxes full of that kind of stuff versus just regular storylines. Um, Avengers uh, number 301. This is the first appearance of Supernova. Supernova. That's only a matter of time. I mean, that's right there with Moon Knight and everything else. It's only a matter of time before we get an epic launch of the Nova Corps because, I mean, that's cool. Like space police. You could do a lot with that. So why not? I'm gonna hold on to it for a while. And I picked this up. I know it's not worth a lot of value. The specs are already done on it, but I don't know. I saw it and I just I just couldn't help but not pick it up. So do you remember when Spider-Man first was asked to be a member of the Avengers? Yep, that happened in Avengers 316, and there it is. Later to get booted out like four issues later <laughs> but regardless this is his hey you want to be an avenger and he's like hell yeah and then they go do avengering stuff so yeah that's that's my haul that's all i got going on so if you don't know over at blaster stash it uh huey's currently running a contest right now there's five little things you got to do in it nothing out of the ordinary he wants a video um and he wants you to answer some questions. I'll link that description down below. Definitely check that out. Engage with us over at Blaster or Stash It. We love it when the comic book community kind of comes together for entertainment. And what more entertainment do you need right now? Have you noticed on the streaming channels, like, not a whole lot of stuff has been coming out. And let's be honest, you can binge watch an entire season in a few hours with a lot of this stuff. So... I know I'm running out of things to watch. Like, oh, I did watch Bloodshot. Uh, I'll give a quick review of that. Bloodshot can't get any love, <laughs> like legitimately. Like right when Bloodshot back in the day was starting to get really cool, right? The comic book thing just crashed and they were just cutting titles left and right, just trying to survive. That was right when Bloodshot really started becoming a really cool comic book and, and it got destroyed. And then the movie comes out and what happens? A plague happens. A plague has set upon us here in this world. <laughs> the poor guy can't get any love. But I'm going to be honest with you. I liked that movie. Oh my god, that movie was... I'm not going to say it was the best movie this year, but I've been locked up for a few days. So, yeah, I enjoyed it. It was good to see a good comic book superhero movie. A little edgier of a character. Um, I love the way that they played off of Vengeance and Anger. Because uh, that's all Vengeance really is. This is Anger. Um, I like how they played um, Van Diesel's character, Bloodshot. I love how they used that against him to accomplish a reoccurring set of things to happen. Now, how he took care of the situation, of course, is environmental. Your external versus your internal. That external will always change. And I absolutely love... Drove my wife crazy. She was like, it's like a modified Groundhog's Day. And I was like, yeah... But it's cooler. <laughs> like, it's legitimately cool. So, I know it's on Amazon right now for the early access. I recommend it. Yeah, it's like 20 bucks, but seriously, that's 20 bucks. That's not going in the gas tank. So, definitely check it out if you have Amazon. I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, comment down below if you did see it. And let me know what you thought about it, because that's really what this channel is about. Your opinions down below. Definitely hook us up. Um, what else have I been doing? I've been noticing I've been wanting to pick up old hobbies. Right? Like, I've, I've had tons of hobbies over the years. Blacksmithing, uh, cars, uh, well, what else is there? Uh, writing, uh, I tried my hand at art, not particularly, glass blowing, like a blacksmith glass blowing guy. I, I've done those things. So I've been kind of revisiting a lot of my older hobbies. And the one that I picked up uh, that I'm doing right now is I'm extracting gold <laughs> from e-waste. Yeah, I'm... Yeah, imagine that. Pocan Joe with acids. 
<laughs> right? And I'm not making a bomb. Figure that one out. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I've been doing that. Uh, we've had like computers this stuff. We get new computers every few years along with cell phones. Like we just completely revamp all of our electronics. And we had this stuff and I've meant to take it someplace and, you know, get a few bucks for it or whatever. And then I stumbled across some videos about how to extract the gold from it and silver. And I like gold and silver. These are like my two favorite things. So I've been extracting e-waste. I'm just throwing that out there. Like we need something to talk about because I can't do just a 10 minute video, right? Um, so uh, right now I got everything set up in different jars and it's being uh, acid washed right now. Uh, if that's something you want to see here on the channel, you want to see what I actually recovered from it, uh, let me know. Give me a thumbs up and then comment down below and we'll see what happens. Um, maybe I'll even, if I did the process correctly, maybe I'll even show the rest of you. because I, And the reason why I did this, I should mention this part because it's, it's comic book related. I started noticing... Um, a lot of my golden age comic books, like gold was always a thing, that the villains would go steal. Cash and gold. That was, it wasn't about taking over the world, it was about destroying the world, getting cash and gold. And I like gold. Like, I know that sounds weird, right? Like, everybody likes gold. But I actually have a fascination with gold. Gold coins, uh, gold uh, ingots, the, the whole nine yards. If I see that kind of stuff, I generally try to buy it. And uh, keeping with the villains contest and keeping with villainy overall, I was like, well, I want some gold. <laughs> if I'm, if I'm going to be locked in the house teleworking and taking care of all this stuff, I, something needs to happen. Make a little extra cash. So I started extracting gold from e-waste. I'm, I'm doing that. But I'm not doing that hoarder thing where you're stacking up all the computers and it's just messy everywhere. Like, I'm not doing that. Um, just cleaning what I got now and doing it as cheaply as possible so I can get the biggest yield. And that was a ramble, but other than that. So, with everything going on in the comic book community, you have to find other hobbies, or maybe even you can do some back issue hunting. What have you been doing? Also, what do you think is going to happen after the quarantine's been lifted? Are they going to just inundate us with all these comic books? Are they setting everything back? I know I made the comment on Blaster Stash It where I said... Um, it would absolutely, they, they wouldn't make as much money if they just inundated us with all the comic books at this period. Um, at, at one time, I should say. Because um, who's, who's dumping that much cash? Even if you have the cash to spend because you've been saving up, are you really going to be walking out? How many of those comic books are you legitimately going to be able to read within a certain amount of time? Or are they just going to end up in a long box? What, what are your thoughts on this? Definitely let us know. A lot of us have been talking about it. Um, but I want to hear from you. What do you think? Am I wrong? Am I right? Uh, do you have a different opinion about it? Definitely let this be the place where you can sound off. All right, guys. Unless some miracle happens and my comic book shops get some more comic books in, which nobody's leaving their house. Um, that's it for today. Check us out Sunday over at Blaster Stash It. We will be talking about Masters of the Universe. Yes, another Hasbro line comic book cartoon series with colorful characters and villains. We're going to be talking about that uh, hopefully Sunday. So definitely hit the notification bell over there at Blaster Stash It so you know when it comes on. And join us in the chat. Man, we love chatting with you. We want to know, did you like that He-Man figure with the lobster claw or the one that had the eyes that kind of bugged out of its face? Um, we want to hear from you um, because I don't have a whole lot of friends in my call this act. You're pretty much it. So... <laughs> Well, that spectacular spider grandpa, but he's been quarantined over at his house, too. Yeah, I'm coming to get you, son. All right, guys, I got to get out of here. Not really, but I, I have nothing else to talk about. Let's have one more awkward sip of coffee together. And let's shut it down. All right, guys, talk to you later. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Bye.